In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a portal. We are going to learn how to create relationships, how to set up a portal, and how to add and remove record within the portal. What's up everybody? This is Sunny from FM Beginner, and let's get started. So before we dive into learning about portals, I want to explain a key concept with a relationship database. And if you already know this part, then you should just skip straight into the next part. And so what I want to talk about is the concept of key fields, because uh, a lot of people come to me and they said they have uh, having trouble with portals, but actually they are having trouble with um, relationships and how to set up key fields properly. So here is a quick example to help you understand better. On the left side, we have a customer table which shows um, three different customers, Sunny, Tom, and Mary. On the right side, we have a set of a purchase record that records a, uh, when each person buys a new item. And obviously, the records on the left side is related to the right side, and each matched it by their name. So how exactly does a database able to distinguish between two related records. So it will need two things to be able to properly determine the relationship between two records. First, it needs a primary key. And then it needs a foreign key. So primary key is basically an identity of a record. So in here, my ID is a uh, customer ID one, customer ID two, customer ID three. And so this one is always unique in the table. It doesn't repeat itself so that um, you will always have a very stable constant value that they can reference to. And so on the right side, we have uh, used it, a, the customer ID into our sales record to reference who brought the specific item. In here, you will notice that I have brought um, two items in here, a swimsuit and a surfboard. And each, they have marked it, uh, my customer ID. And since this ID is not the ID of the sales record, it's the ID of the customer. So it's from another table. It's the primary key of another table. So in this case, it's a foreign key. So in order to connect to database, we need to make sure we have the proper measure set up so that there is a primary key and a foreign key between two tables. And then we can start connecting relationship and create portals. So now that we have learned the basics of relationship, let's get into creating a portal. So there are a total of five steps in this video tutorial. First step, we are going to create a table with the correct key fields. Second step, we are going to connect the key fields in the relationship graph. Third step, we are going to add a new portal to the layout. Fourth step, we are going to learn how to add a new record within the portal. And the fifth and the final step is to how to delete a record within a portal. So let's get started. So let's create our database. Let's delete the original one and create two tables, a customer table and also a purchase table, or let's, let's call it sales. And in the customer table, as we see in our example just now, that we need a primary key. So we need a customer ID and we are going to create a customer ID, a customer name, and also his phone. And I want to introduce you to a very useful step, is to um, double click onto the ID. Uh, remember when we talk about the relationships that the primary key has to be unique. And so to do that, we can set this to a serial number. We double click on the customer ID to get into this dialog and press tick this. What it does is that whenever you create a new record, 
it automatically assigns a unique serial number incremented by one every time you create a new record. We press OK. And then now we move on to creating fields within the second table. So if we look into our example just now, we have a foreign key. And we have item and price. And we can ignore the customer name because once we connect the customer ID using the foreign key, we will be able to access this information from the customer table. So we don't need to add a field from there. So we need to create customer ID as a foreign key, item and price. We go back to this page, customer ID, item and price and price should be a number view. So um, if my knowledge is correct, Pharmaker should have already created a sample layout for me. So we can go to uh, manage layout, <coughs> file, manage layout into this dialog here and go to customer. And he has already created a layout for us already. So I'm going to press on new record and notice when I press onto new record it automatically gives me a serial number starting from one. We're going to add the other fields in two, Tom and also three is uh, Mary I believe. So how do we add a portal into Oh wait, I got the sequence wrong. Okay, so now we got the first step right. We set up the tables. Second step, we have to connect the relationships. To connect a relationship, we go to the relationship graph and delete this. Notice we have two tables in here. We can connect by just dragging and dropping the key fields and the foreign key. And this will indicate to the computer that these two are related by that key fields. It's fairly simple once you learn the basics behind how to set up relationship. And press OK. And in now we are moving on to the third step, creating a portal. To create a portal, we need to go to layout mode. So we press view, layout mode. And we click on the portal icon on the top here. That looks like a, a four um, horizontal bar stacking together. We're going to drag out a few. And then when you drag it, it asks you uh, what records to show related. I mean, where to show the related record from. And we have already connected the sales table. So when we click onto this, it should appear automatically. And then it asks us uh, what items do we want to be shown onto the portal. I want to show the item and the price. And just to make this a little bit more clear, I'm going to create a field title here. Item and price. So as we see in here, if we go to browse mode, view, browse mode, or control B, we have now successfully created a portal. But how do we know it works? So to know it works, we have to go to the fourth step, how to create a portal um, within a related record. I mean, how to create a related record within the portal. So we go back to the database file manage database and we are back to this uh, relationship tab we double click on this equal sign and we are going to um, check to make sure that this table is sale and then we are going to take allow creation of record in this table via this relationship <coughs> so i'll explain to you what it does in a moment click ok and so if we move on to record one you will notice that right now, unlike just now, I am able to um, select this particular field. So let's say I buy a surfboard, 
$100, I mean $1,000, I'm now able to create a new portal record. And then the next row, we can type again, maybe sunscreen for $50. And you will notice, because we ticked that box just now, the bottom most field within the portal will always be an empty field. So whenever you type in new data, it will automatically create a new related records within it. And that's how we create a related record. And just to check, the portal is actually working as we wanted to. We are going to go to the second record and let's call this a Tom's purchase of 150. Then we go back and forth. You will notice that they are actually looking for the related record, but not just any random records. So fifth and the final step, we are going to learn how to delete a portal record. To do that, we need to create a button that allows us to delete a portal row. So if we click on Control L or go to layout mode, we are going to um, shrink this price view a little bit and click onto the button icon and drag a very simple delete icon here. And let's give it a bin. Move this up a little bit so it looks more neat. Make sure this uh, button stays within the portal's uh, row area. Double click onto this and it asks you what action do you want to be done when you click onto it. And you click single step and type in delete portal row. You will notice it already gave me a suggestions. And once you do that, click OK. And then we go back to browse mode. And right now, stick entry. Let's say I make a wrong entry. And I can click onto this button, delete, and delete the whole thing. And that is it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, please don't hesitate to press the like button. And if you want more of these FileMaker tips and tricks, remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching again, and I will see you on the next video.